I think as a head of Tasty, I can quote Gordon Ramsay and say, Lerm, up your game. Hi, I'm Lerm and this is Chef's Try. So you might be familiar with the Mom's Try series. We all love them. But today we are getting the expert from Tasty's Kitchen to show you how it's been done. We're going to rate each other's dishes one to 10 and whoever gets the highest score wins. And it's gonna be me, obviously. My relationship with fried chicken is a bit intimate. Give me a fried chicken any day, any night, whatever form, I'm absolutely up for it. Well, my wife is from Texas, so you know I'm big on my fried chicken. She's introduced me to a bunch of fried chicken over there and I can't get enough. Well, her mom and Liram are pretty good chefs, so maybe a little bit nervous, but I'm still gonna win. I think I'm expecting their characters, their specialties, whatever they're passionate about to be presented in front of me. Bring the fried chicken! For my dish, I've been inspired by Texas. My wife is from there and my favorite fast food chain over there is Chick-fil-A. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Chick-fil-A style burger. It's gonna be an amazing hot piece of fried chicken and then that amazing Chick-fil-A sauce, some tomato, some pickle, lettuce of course, and all served on an amazing brioche bun. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna win this. This looks impressive. Oh my God. This is giving fast food vibes. Very American, kind of like dining style kind of approach. So it's a chicken burger with some waffle fries and some kind of dip. Looks juicy. It's Lerum, definitely Lerum. I mean, I can see him. I can see him in the dish. Really curious about this sauce. I'm gonna have a little taste. Mmm. Okay, sauce, come through sauce. It's like a honey mustard sauce. It's nice. I broke my diet for this, so this better be good. I think my concerns about these potatoes, they're a bit soggy. However, the fried chicken itself, it looks really good. Can't wait to dig in. Oh my God. Okay, we have something dripping out of the burger. It's juicy, she's a juicy one. The chicken is cooked to perfection. Enough crunch, enough juiciness, enough tenderness in this whole thing. So it's got cheese, it's got pickles, it's got sauce, it's got juicy, crispy chicken. But the seasoning is a bit low. I needed a bit more kick, a bit of more salt. When you put it all together, it tastes good. But the chicken by itself, it's kind of basic, but good basic. But I don't want to say it's good because I want to win, but it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's good. If I want to add the potatoes to the ranking of the dish, I'm going to give it a very low score because the potatoes was really I mean, guys, look at this, like. The fries are not frying. <laughs> They're a bit soggy. They are struggling to hold up. No, so let's not talk about the potatoes. It's really about this mustardy honey sauce. That's what brings the whole thing together. It's so yummy. Like, I probably could just drink this like this. Like, in fact, maybe I will. Mm. Okay, I'm joking. I'm not gonna drink it. I think as a head of Tasty, I can quote Gordon Ramsay and say, Lerm, up your game. I would rate this dish 6.5 out of 10. I would give this dish a 6.5 out of 10. So today I did a Korean fried chicken. This is my first time trying it, but I hope it will be delicious. What I did as well is I made pal from scratch. I followed Romani's recipe and was absolutely successful. My secret was that I doubled fried the chicken to add an extra crunchiness to the batter and I pickled some cucumbers and some onions, garnished it with some spicy mayonnaise, some coriander, and it was absolutely a triumph. Oh, my dish is gonna definitely win this competition. I put my love and my passion in this dish, and you better like it. Wow, look at that. That looks very, very impressive. Oh, the bar's been set very high. That looks really good. Like, my mouth has just started watering. <laughs> it's okay, I'm still confident. I'm still confident I'm gonna win. Still gonna win, right? I'm gonna win. I've had bao buns, but I've had them with fish and with beef, never with chicken, so I'm excited to try this. I honestly can't say it's missing anything. Honestly, it actually looks perfect. I don't wanna say that because I wanna win, but it, it looks perfect. Damn it. I'm smelling a lot of ginger. I love anything like Asian inspired, all Asian flavors. I'm a big fan of fried chicken. What can go wrong, right? Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Slap my knee and call me Susan. That tastes so good. That ginger that we spoke about earlier is definitely coming through, packing a punch. It tastes really good. I think I might have lost. Another interesting thing about this is the bao bun's been toasted, which I've not seen before. Usually they're just steamed. I assume this has been steamed and then charred and like slightly toasted. Gives it an amazing bit 
a flavor and I love it. I'm all for it. So good job whoever did this. I might have to break into his house and get the recipe for the sauce. For me, the chicken is crispy, but it's ever so slightly over. Obviously that's been counteracted by the sauce that he's thrown in there. And again, it's just a very good, very beautiful sandwich, so. So what I'm not sure about is if this chef made these bows. I don't think they did. I don't think they made them from scratch. I think they bought them in, which is very, very naughty. But this is about fried chicken, so I might have to let them off. I can't really fault this, to be honest. I would definitely consider making this myself, so I'm gonna have to hold this person down and squeeze the recipe out of them, because I know they're gonna keep it a secret from me. These bows are Michelin style worthy. I mean, I'm upset about that because I want to win, but they are, I can't fault them. I want to give this a high score, but I've seen a lot of come dine with me and I know I kind of want to play a tactics game and be like, nah, you're not getting the highest score. I would rate this dish 10 out of 10. I'm going to give this a solid nine out of 10. So dessert's kind of my thing, being known as the dessert mashup queen. So I thought, why not do a chicken and waffle kind of vibe, but as a more dessert vibe. So what I did was I replaced the waffle with a French toast cube, dusted in cinnamon sugar, topped with a popcorn chicken and drizzled in yummy maple syrup. Because after all, I am the in-house dessert mashup queen. And obviously mine's the best. It's got French toast, popcorn chicken and maple syrup. Like, duh. Like, just give me, just give me the award now. Like, obviously, it's me. Look at that. What a creation. That is incredible. I know who made this. Guys, we have Emma, the dessert scientist, and she's very famous for her cube French toast, if I'm not mistaken. And we've got some honey or ma maple syrup to drizzle over. I guess the closest thing I can liken this to is fried chicken and waffles. And I've had that loads in Texas and it's absolutely delicious. Ooh. You know, when I, the moment I pour the syrup, the chicken start like smelling, like I can get the aroma from the whole dish. I love that. I don't even know where to tackle this. I don't know where to start. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's filled with chicken. <laughs> How do you eat this? This is incredible. Wow. I'm happy. I might be the happiest I've been. Amazing, crunchy, crispy popcorn chicken. But then you get the counterbalance of that with the contrast of the fluffy French toast. This is superb. This is really good. I love this. Chicken for me is a big one. The French toast by itself is really good and they kind of work together. A little bit too sweet for me. The chicken could be a bit saltier, maybe pack a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little punch of heat. If I really want to be a bit picky and like pick up something out of this, it's missing like one extra dimension of flavors. A bit of sauce, different cheese, maybe chilies. I don't know, it's just like missing a kick. I would make this probably for my wife and just surprise her and shock her and be like, hey, look, a piece of Texas, but I've put my own spin on it. I'd take all the glory, I'd take all the credit. <laughs> I would rate this dish eight out of 10. I would rate this an eight out of 10. Woohoo! Yes, I know, I know. I was very sure that mine will win, of course. I was nervous since this was my first time making a Korean fried chicken, but I hope I made all our Korean fans loving this. Recount! <laughs> I wanna recount! Gutted. I'm upset, more so for my representation for Texas. So to America, I do apologize. I'm very sorry that I couldn't bring this one home for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Chef's Try series. If you want any recipes for us to try, leave a comment now and subscribe to our channel.